So you thought the Water Wraith was as bad as the submerged castle gets, huh? <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to sub-level 4 of the submerged castle. On this sub-level, we have, for one thing, more bold men. Oh god, why? what is with this game putting them right next to me? That's not fun. But in addition to that, in this sub-level, you have the added danger of... If one would drop... Well, actually, let's just get rid of this guy first. But, oh god, why does he have to be so close to base? That's so not good. Ugh. Let's just uh, get the Pikmin out. Okay, there we go. President, come help Omar out. Stop being lazy. Stop being the lazy, stereotypical CEO. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, thanks. Bye. Okay, so Boldmen are a lot really easy to kill with just the captain, so it's just best to do that so you don't lose any Pikmin. Alright, there we go. Ten more Boldmen are added to our ranks now. And we're gonna have them carry their mother's corpse back to base, because we're nice like that. Yeah. So yeah, but like I like I said in the last episode, on this sub-level, you have two Boltmen. So now we're going to be able to add 20 Boltmen to our totals in this episode, which is pretty awesome. So normally you would have, you would be awarded a total of, well you would get a total of um, 40 Boltmen. This is the most you can have on this in this dungeon basically, and this is the most you can get at any point in the game actually, so it's very cool. And it's best to take advantage of it. This is why sub level 4 is the worst in Submerged Castle. Because you have bomb rocks, volatile dweevils, and careening dirigi bugs dropping from the sky at various points of the sub level. Ain't that just swell? Oh yeah. This is by far the worst of this dungeon. And it's gonna be get very problematic really fast. So, but it's best to You already had a bomb rock drop from there. Why add something else? Jeez. Well, I guess actually well I guess thanks for doing my work for me, thank you. Okay. It actually worked out pretty well. And this also is a really good setup right here. This actually might just be our opportunity to get the water race stuck in a position that will make it unable to harm us. This is a really good setup, actually. This is probably the best setup I've ever had. This is the setup you want. Well, not necessarily this, this long hall right here, but this part right here. This is the kind of thing, kind of uh, corner you need to get the water race stuck. That's, that's what triggers the glitch. So if we can just get the water rate to go through there at any point, we're golden. We don't have to worry about him. So that's the good thing about this sub-level. But other than that, it's really not fun dealing with all these dropping bomb rocks from the sky and volatile weevils and green dirigi bugs. So uh, I think we haven't encountered any of those yet. But first of all, let's get the skate down so we can get that, get those 10 extra bulb men. Now, something I haven't mentioned yet is that there are actually some traps in this game that can only be triggered by Pikmin. But most traps can be triggered by the captains. But, you know, so for the most part, it's best to just have your Pikmin with you and keep them very close to you so that nothing bad happens. Um, so as long as no no further traps can drop from there, we're going to... Oh! You're a distant Glimp Beetle. This guy is really important. He carries a treasure. So... And since he does carry a treasure, it's actually going to be really easy to... Oh god, uh, Korean Dirigi Bug. Okay, hopefully we sh hopefully the Pikmin are, on are safe on the other side. Oh, oh, you know what? Actually, some something really cool I want to show you guys right here. Watch this. Watch the Boldmen. The Boldmen? Notice how the Boldmen did not get killed by that explosion. That is very important. Boldmen, while they're with their mothers, are impervious to every danger, including bomb rocks. So when I first found that out, I originally, that made me think that they were o always, um, you know, invulnerable to stuff like that, but no, it only applies to when they're with their mothers. So that's something to keep in mind. It means you don't have to worry about them when you're fighting the mother, basically. So. But here's our first treasure on the floor. Again, it's a, another food thing. 
Pale Passion. <laughs> no comment on that. And hey, we could use some Nectar. Actually, we should wait until we get the other 10 Bulbin first. And I'll guess a total of, one, of 97 Pikmin, so whatever. Now, Bulbmen, uh, on the, in case you're wondering, on the radar they show up as green dots, but when you're about to, when you're, when you're, when you have, when you have them selected for throwing, um, they show up as orange on the cursor, which is pretty interesting. But there's two different. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Uh, jeez, oh, jeez! Oh, this is not good! Not good! Not good! Oh, holy crap! Oh god, that could have been a lot worse right there. That was, oh god, okay. Well, since the water wraith is here now, let's, let's get him stuck or see if we can. Well, first of all, let's get this. I have a bad feeling though, there's gonna be a trap here though. Let's just, oh, maybe not. Maybe there is no trap here, okay. I'm surprised actually. Perfect opportunity for one right there. Okay, so. This glitch of getting the water race stuck. That's not that's not it right there, he's not stuck, but there's a way to get him permanently stuck on this floor, I know it, and we're gonna do it. Okay, so come on. Stop getting blocked by a corpse like that. It's not like you. Oh god, oh god. Okay, let's see if we can do it here. I think we can get him stuck here. Yeah, see he cannot go under these things for some reason. I have no idea why, but he cannot go under them. So, if you can get him blocked, stuck in one of these, then you're golden, because he's not going to be able to get past them. But, I don't think we can do it from this side. We'll have to do it from the other side. So let's see if we can get him over here. Let's see if we can. I mean, or we could just go through this sub-level legitimately and just try to get the treasures, but still, I, I at least want to give it a try. At least try to get him stuck. See if it's possible. Cause I know it can be done. I've done it before, even by most time by accident. Actually, to be honest, sometimes he activates him by himself. All right, let's see if we can do it here. This must must be the way to do it. Or maybe he has to get here through this side. Yeah, that must be it. I think he has to actually, cause. Right here, for the Water Wraith, going this way is one way. And then once he gets into this corner right here, he is permanently stuck for the rest of the sub-level. So... Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't... I, this actually doesn't work out right exactly. I mean, maybe there's another point in the sub-level where you get him stuck, but I don't know. It just depends on what setup you get. And they're always random again, so... Oh god. Ah. Uh, so unfortunately, we still gotta deal with him for the rest of the sub-level. Unfortunately, he just just get him out of the way. Remember, he follows the active captain, so we're gonna get him to go away over here, so he's out of our way, so we can get this gate open. Okay, now we're going to do this. Okay. All right, now on this side, got Volatile Dweevils, lovely, okay, and a Bomb Rock, and a Volatile Dweevil, and, oh god, oh god! Uh... <sighs> uh... I'll be back in a moment. See what I mean when I say that you could be the most experienced Pikmin player out there and still struggle heavily with this dungeon. I'm telling you guys, this sublevel is where it all comes down, literally. So, let's try this again, shall we? What the? Three at four at once? Four bomb rocks at once? Really? Really? Four? Really? Was that necessary? Why? Do you really hate me this much, game? Seriously. That was just... That was... That was cruel. That was unnecessary. Four traps at once. 
That's never happened before when I played this dungeon, by the way. Just saying. God, this game really hates me. It really does. I mean, after all these years of playing it, I can really attest to that. Okay, I should have saved that for, oh, whatever, there's gonna be more nectar later on, but still. That was insane. That was, that was, that was not cool game. That was so not cool. Okay, so this setup is actually, uh, I think, a little better, but I don't think this we're going to be able to get the water race stuck on this set. set. Maybe. Maybe. I don't I don't know, honestly. Uh, it's not looking like it. Nope. Unfortunately, no, we don't have the quite the right setup. You, you didn't you didn't appear when I last went through there. Don't Oh my god. Let's just kill this guy already. Unfortunately, that bomb rock is too close for us to do that. Let's try this again, shall we? Come on. Yeah, turn around. We'll knock you to the ground. There we go. And you're dead. All right. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's not lose any Pikmin this time, all right? Man. I mean, I'm surprised I actually was okay with losing Pikmin that last episode, but this, that last sub, that last time was just, that was just no. This last sub level was just no, okay. Okay, let's, uh, let's get you out of the way. One, two. Again with the Iridescent Glimp Beetle, okay. I, as long as he doesn't lure my Pikmin into poison or over here, I'm fine with that, I don't care. Okay. It'd be really nice if we could make some progress here too before the water wraith appears. That'd be really nice. Oh god. Oh god, no! Stop! Just stop doing stuff, trying to do stuff on your own, Pikmin. You suck at it. That's what gets you killed when you're trying to do stuff on your own because your AI is terrible. I mean, sure, give the water wraith the, the best AI ever, but give the Pikmin the crappy AI. I mean, seriously. Okay, let's use the Boltman to fight this guy since we're above poison here. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I don't think so. We're gonna get you on the ground, sir. There we go. Ha! Ah, okay. Now, we need everyone to stay close here, cuz... That water race is going to drop down here any minute, so... Actually, you can. This is def this is a definite safe zone for your Pikmin right here, so... We're going to leave the Pikmin here. All but the Bulbman. So we don't have another mishap in the water again. No. Blues, I'm sorry, but you cannot come with us. Yeah, this is one of the downsides of this game, is that the Pikmin don't separate very well. They're still... They're always, like, too close to each other whenever they separate like that. Okay. So yeah, we'll get up to 38 Boltman at the most here. I probably should have gone for the Iridescent Glint Beetle. I mean, like, we've already got the treasure that he has, but still. Okay, let's, uh, let's get them working on this rock, get this out of the way. Probably should have had him go for the, uh, uh, thing. The, I mean, the the wall. Yeah, I, I should, should probably just get them working on the wall. See, I can't even talk right anymore. That's what the this dungeon does to me. It makes me stop talking right. Okay. Ah, I really should get that, get those other bold men, actually, now that I think about it. Because this is a... Oh, there he, there he is again. Lovely. Water Wraith is back. He missed us, I bet. Because those five minutes were so... Painful that of not seeing us. Jeez. Okay. Boldman, you are not safe out there. Let's join up again. Okay. Jeez. Oh god. Oh god. This is not good. Oh god. How many more bomb rocks do you plan on dropping on me? Seriously. Okay. If you're gonna get stuck there, I'm fine with that. Do it. Oh god, no, no, no. That's not gonna work. Here he comes. Ugh. Please turn around. Thank you. Just in time. 
But now you gotta turn around and come back here, of course. Can we just get him to... Yeah. Come on, bro. I'm the active captain, come chase me. Okay. And yeah, once you learn that this guy chases the active cap, and you can use that to your advantage and get him to, you know, go to a, go to the other side of the arena. Now, thankfully, Pikmin will not try to attack it, but you know, attack it by itself, by themselves. Thankfully, they're not that stupid. Okay. Now let's get this as close to base as we can before that monster comes back. All right. Of course, he's already on his way over here, isn't he? Oh, no, not quite. Okay, we're good. For now, we are. He's at base, unfortunately, so that's not a good spot for us to get this back over there. Okay, uh... We might have a problem here. Yeah, we definitely do. Uh, Pikmin, stop following us. You need to stay in there where you're safe. Please. I have a bad feeling it's going to be a bit, really big problem. Okay, uh... Let's at least get this as close to base as we can. These two treasures right here. So we got a triple-A battery and some ham. Deviled ham to be exact. Oh god, oh god. I really wish I had Ultra Bitter Spray right now. No! Are you si Oh my god! Pikmin seriously piss me off sometimes, I swear. Okay, let's do this. Go over here, so you stop causing tr trouble. Jeez. I'm so tired of losing Pikmin because they're so dumb. I mean, their AI really got... Really didn't get upgraded that much in this game. I swear, it did not get upgraded the way it should have. It really need a massive upgrade. Like, you should have made it so that... I, I just don't know. I don't know how you could fix that, to be honest. That whole whistle thing, how you you end up calling Pikmin you're not trying to. Like, did he, that didn't even make sense. Like, wh wh that whistle was not even that close to lose. Like, how... <sighs> Should have came here before going to the shower room. That's the thing. Amplified amplifiers, what's doing it? Okay, well, at least we could do is at least get... Let's at least try to... <sighs> You know what I should have done is I should have just killed the stupid, stupid Boltman. Okay, uh, yeah, hopefully before you come back I'm going to, okay, do this, yeah, this works actually. Okay, that worked. There's one way to kill a Boltman, get your, there we go, okay, so now we have our 38 Boltman. So now, it's time to run like hell again. Oh god. You know, I actually thought of, like, coming up with some lyrics for the, uh, for the Water Wraith theme. You know, a theme that plays when the Water Wraith comes down, starts chasing after you. But... I don't know, I think I could do it, but... Just not at this particular moment, because we're kind of in a stressful situation here. Because this guy's after us, he will stop following us! Whoa! Okay, I forgot he can actually go up that ledge there. Yeah. Okay, that'd be really nice if he would just stop chasing us. We're trying to... <sighs> can we? Can this guy stop chasing us already and just go somewhere else? That'd be really nice. I'd like a moment of peace to get the stuff. Okay, well, let's do this. Here. Go away. Thank you. Just get him to go off in some other direction. There you go. I really wish I got that setup that last to get him stuck, though. It would have been really cool. It would have been really nice. Don't try to go for that other one. Let's just do this one at a time, shall we? Okay, first the AAA battery. Start running for your life. It comes in the water wraith. It comes for your anus and your pig. Man, it don't stop, no, it won't for nothing. You better hide your big man from this creature, cause he has no mercy. It's the water rain. He's stuck. 
Unfortunately, in the room next to base, it's a wonder that he doesn't notice. I suck at singing, can't you tell? I'm off key sometimes during this song, and I don't care. This is my first attempt, and I won't give up. We got the devil ham, which has a weird name, and we're done with this room. But there's still one more treasure left on this. Sub Ruffle, it's the name, Pale Passion, which is weird. That is all for my first attempt at sing. Give me your Pale Passion, sir. I kinda need that. Thank you. Then we can get this, uh, get that taken care of, okay? Alright, so all we need to do is just carry this back to base, and then we're done with sub-level 4, the submerged castle, which would be quite a relief, I do have to say. Okay. Oh, man. This sub-level. I just... I, You guys have no idea how glad I will be to finally be rid of this for forever. Uh, I shouldn't say forever. It's not going to be forever, obviously, but, you know, whatever. I always say that whenever I'm going through the most difficult part of a game. Like I'm saying, oh, I can't wait to be done with this forever, you know, with every playthrough. I always say that, but then here I am playing the game again, so. It's, you know, there's something kind of funny about myself, I guess. Because I always do that. I always do stupid stuff like that. Okay, so in this dungeon, we lost one white Pikmin, two bold men, and one blue Pikmin. So. Not exactly a satisfying playthrough of the dungeon, but oh well. The point is, believe it or not, the worst of this dungeon is now over. All that remains is sub-level 5. And let me tell you something. Are you tired of the Water Wraith yet? Do you want to kick its ass? Do you want to just finally be rid of it forever and not have to worry about it ever again? For the rest of the game? Well, kind of, except for outside of story mode, but I'm not, we're not going to get into that right now. But seriously, are you ready to be du just done with this guy? Well, guess what? Your chance is coming up on the next sub-level. So, since this took the entire episode, next time on Pikmin 2, y'all, we are going to go down to sub-level 5 of the Submerged Castle, and we are finally... Gonna put this ass hat to rest. Not for good. For the rest of the LP, but still. We're gonna kick this guy's ass. And he will not see the light of day ever again. See you guys then. Thanks for watching. Good bye.